In the 50s and 60s there was an explosion of cults, occult and new age in the west. These influences came from the east and the church slept. In the 70s this influence grew and the church slept. In the 80s it grew and God raised up people like Doug Harris. I want to share a tribute to this man of God and at the end of this video mention a few books that Doug published through his ministry, Reach Out Trust. Do stay tuned so you can see a few of these booklets. I myself have used them regularly since 1996. Doug went to be with the Lord on the 17th of May 2013. Mike Thomas, who worked with Doug for 20 or 30 years, said this, and I would like to paraphrase. Doug founded Reach Out Trust in 1982, initially as an outreach to Jehovah Witnesses, but it quickly grew as a ministry to the cults, occult and New Age movements. Today, in 2013, it is one of the most foremost groups in our field. In 2008, Doug became a host and latterly became the Director of Operations at Revelation TV, working there for five years until his, his death recently. I'm probably biased but his programmes were my favourite. A regular TV guest of, of Doug's, Jai T, said, and I would agree with this, Doug made all his TV guests feel at home. He challenged cults in a loving way not harsh but kind and he responded in grace. Doug recruited Christians from such backgrounds including myself to speak at Reach Out Trust conventions and also the TV later on. Christians and non-Christian media often called upon Doug and his colleagues to speak for TV, radio, magazine articles, programmes like Kilroy Silk and so on. Doug developed relationships with similar ministries around the world, all working together to help people. Doug taught us that we can still honour and respect a person, even if they are in a cult or a Christian doctrine that we would consider false. The scripture comes to mind, 1 Peter 2.17, that um, admonishes us to honour all people. Doug was polite and respectful. He honoured all people, despite what they believed in. I personally didn't always agree with everything Doug said on some Christian doctrines. We didn't agree 100% on all points, but Doug was a very graceful person and we never argued. That reminds me also of the verse John 13, 35. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So what does Doug Harris mean to me? Michael Cummings, my friend, and he's the host of Voice in the Wilderness. He visited Doug quite often to pray for him. And um, he actually told me this. When I heard that Doug had passed away, I myself felt like, personally, I've not felt like this since my mother died. When Michael told me he's not felt like this since his father's death, it made sense. Many saw Doug as a father figure and a spiritual mentor, not just because of his ministry, but because he was such a lovely, kind person. My YouTube and my Facebook pals have all told me this too. He was full of humour, he had an infectious laugh, and of course, those waistcoats. Doug greatly influenced my life since 1996 and he's been a great encouragement to me in ministry. And although he's gone to glory to be with Jesus, I do miss him. For the past four years I was so honoured to speak at his Reach Out Trust conventions, especially as I'd read his newsletters for the past 17 years since I was saved out of the occult. He also invited me to speak with him on TV. Since our first show in 2009, there's been countless emails from people telling me they found Jesus and are seeking deliverance. Doug taught me how to connect these people to ministries worldwide. 
Doug and I emailed each other every few weeks regarding such things. One year we did a live Halloween show which I was thrilled to be asked to go and speak on. It was with me and Doug and Michael Cummings. And after that, Doug told us that a witch was coming from the USA to do an interview with Doug. And I was so thrilled and I wanted to stay and talk to her, but actually we had to get the train back to Glasgow, so we couldn't do that. The final interview I did with him and Michael Cummings was my favourite interview of all, and it was on the old cult and the global New Age Luciferian initiation. I've not actually said this before, but when I asked Doug if we could do such a programme, he agreed and he said to me to go ahead, research it all, plan out the questions that I wanted him um, to ask me and Michael. So that was a great honour to do that. We all laughed and joked as we could hardly say Luciferianism. And um, he and Michael were saying off camera, Madame Blavonsky instead of Madame Blavatsky. So we had lots of laughs. After it we all praised God and Doug slapped the table a few times. I hadn't saw him look that excited after one of our interviews. That was the last show we did. You know, after that show I felt even if I never spoke on TV again, I'd be happy. I thank God for using Doug to teach me over the past 17 years and also for mentoring and encouraging me over the past four years. When I think of him, the verse from Exodus 9 comes to mind, where the Lord said to Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Michael Cummings was due to give tribute on his own TV show, but it sadly got cancelled. In its place, an old black and white film of Martin Luther and the Reformation was shown. I felt that was really apt. Doug's ministry has left a legacy. In the last few years, more churches have begun to recognise cults and old cult are one of the biggest unreached people groups and they began reaching out to them rather than ignoring them as before. But Doug was one of those who's done that since the 80s. A pioneering ministry, Doug caught some big fish. May God increase the harvest from his ministry. Please keep Doug's family in prayer, especially Naomi, such a kind and gentle lady. His two sons and his daughter, his daughter-in-law and his little granddaughter. Also all those who worked with him at Revelation TV and Reach Out Trust, especially Derek Weir. I want to thank Michael and his wife once again for in inviting me to their home for two days and taking me to Doug's funeral. I'm very grateful. Let Doug's life continue to inspire us all. I'll certainly continue to use his Reach Out literature in my own ministry. So I'd just like to show you a few of these publications. That's one of my personal favourites, Spiritualism A Warning. And it's probably only one or two pounds, so three, four US dollars. Um, that's a testimony by an ex-Satanist. There's a fantastic little booklet about UFOs and aliens. And this is a occult New Age pack. And it's packed full of lots of really good information. Um, sorry, Reach Out Trust website is www.reachouttrust.org To conclude, one of the last TV interviews Doug did was a live Halloween show with a mutual friend of ours, Jeff Harshbarger, ex-Satanist. In the 80s when Doug began, I'm sure he never dreamed it would end on such a glorious note. How many occultists and Satanists were converted through that show? Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.